Hey guys, uh, right now I'm about to install some RAM, some DDR4, double data rate 4 RAM, into this machine that I'm building. Uh, it's not for me, it's for a client. And um, <clears throat> so if you guys are wondering why a stock cooler is on a uh, AS Rock or AS Rock uh, motherboard of this magnitude, which this is the, the actual motherboard, this is Z170 Extreme Plus, uh, Extreme 7 Plus, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, just I don't have time time to time to explain it, and you probably don't really care. Point is, is I'm putting some RAM in, and <clears throat> I just just finished putting the uh, chip in, which is an Intel uh, sixth generation, the latest the latest uh, chip, uh, which came out a uh, month or month to two months ago. Um, it's a uh, i5 6600K. Um, and obviously I put a stock cooler on there but, but, but let's get to the task at hand the RAM here is, non, is nothing special either uh, it, but it's you know it's good RAM it's a Corsair Vengeance LPX double data rate for RAM uh, this uh, happens to be two sticks of let's see if you can see that two sticks of eight gigabyte RAM for a total of 16 gigabytes uh, with two sticks, leaving two uh, DIMM slots open for future expansion for more uh, memory. And this is the box there, the front of it, as you can see. The rear of the box, as you can see there. Not much to it, right? So, so let's go ahead and open this up, slide this over the sticker, okay. Um, get that top open now, there we go. And basically, this is very common with Corsair RAM. They just come in like a, a retail type package. Sometimes there's even a hook on the end where it would hang on a wall. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, hang on a little clip in store or something. Uh, put the box aside. This is what you're going to get. You're going to get two chips of the uh, Vengeance um, LPX uh, DDR4 RAM. This RAM is 288 pin. That's the, that's the form factor difference uh, of this and the uh, previous RAM, DDR3, which has been around uh, for quite a while now, they, they, it, so it's real new with, uh, I mean, the only boards now, chipsets are the uh, sixth uh, generation now uh, that support the new RAM. Uh, but uh, this is not the top speeds, this is not 3000 plus or 3800 or 3600 or 3400. This is, uh, it's 2400 megahertz RAM. But it's got good timings and a decent cast latency. So uh, again, this comes in a little plastic sleeve, much like your processor would. This is the back of it. So I'm just going to take this out. Well, first let me point out installing RAM for you, what you want to look for. In a motherboard like this, in most, most boards that you're going to buy now, uh, maybe all of them, I don't know, uh, <clears throat> uh, most of them are going to have four uh, slots for RAM. They're called DIMM slots, which stands for Dual Inline Memory Module. And um, uh, what you want to do is uh, there's something called Dual Channel Mode. And Dual Channel Mode basically means if you put in two chips uh, at one time versus just having one chip in, it will run faster. Uh, I'm not going to explain exactly why, but uh, that, that's, that's, all you, that's all you need to keep in mind is put RAM in, in even numbers, in, in twos. You know, either put two chips in or four chips in for the ideal fastest speed with the motherboard. Uh, now, you know, if you have a board that doesn't have that, it doesn't matter. And it, yes, it will function with just one chip in there, you know, and it will still be fine. But uh, ideally, you want to buy them in kits of two or four. Uh, <clears throat> so... Let's get to it. Oh yeah, uh, wh uh, which one of these slots do you put them in? Most motherboards are go uh, good boards will recognize even if you put it in the wrong uh, slot, technically wrong labeled slot, it'll still recognize it and run okay. Uh, but you want to put it in the A slot uh, for boards like this that are designed to run two chips per channel. It's a dual channel, so it would be one, two, it would be one channel, and then three, four would be the next channel. Uh, you want to look and down by the side, and on this board, it's right here along this edge. Uh, you'll see something that says uh, on this one. It says DDR4A. It says yeah. It says DDR4A1. Then the next one here, the next slot over, it says DDR4A2. 
The third slot says DDR-B1, and, the, and then the fourth slot says DDR-B2 back here. So, what you want to do is put it in A1 and A2, so the first two slots here. So just find that A or if it, it, it may just say one, two, three, four, and you would want to, and you want to put it in in one, two, one and two. But I'm just going to go with this one. Uh, stick with the A, okay? If you if you have this board, uh, <clears throat> and generally the closest slots, uh, the slots that are going to be your first slots are going to be the one closest to the processor itself. So that's another way you could guess at it, I suppose. And you, what you want to do is there's these tabs on the sides. You want to pull them to the side uh, outwards. Well, it may have changed now where it looks like it looks like only one side. Yeah, uh, now um, only one side. It used to be uh, on boards uh, both sides. You see how this pops in and pops out? Well, both sides would pop out. So you want to pull out the side that pops out and do it again for the for the other one that you want to do it in and that allows you know that's a locking me that's a locking mechanism for the ram itself so let's open up the ram and it's 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 really as simple as it looks i'm making this longer than it takes it does not take this long to install ram uh you grab either chip doesn't matter uh there's no difference in them they 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 generally try to match them as best they can uh but uh, you just match them up. Now, one side of this here in the slot is going to be a little bit longer uh, than the other side. So you just look at your RAM here and you see which, which one of these sides here on the pins is longer and which one's shorter. And that's all you do. You line it up like that. that. So it's only going to go in one way. So in this case, the, this side is longer than this side. So this side is longer than this side. So this is the way that this RAM goes in. So you just want to line it up gently, never force anything. Line it up with the grooves because there's a little uh, middle, uh, a little middle separator in there uh, that if you see on the actual chip, I'll show you with this chip here. There's a little middle separator inside the board, which you don't want to put a pin on top of that separator and crush the pin. So just make sure it's in there right, and if it feels right, gently push down until you hear it snaps and you heard that click click in case of this board uh, this side was um, an automatic uh, an automatic locking mechanism where you don't have to pull it out or anything it's just automatically locks and this side you pull out and then when you push down this side automatically clicks into place okay so we're gonna do the exact same thing for the next module ensure that that's the right way and yes indeed this is the right way <clears throat> so you just want to line it up Line it up on this side, be gentle, push down gently, and you heard the click, click. So both modules of RAM are in, and now this computer has 16 gigabytes of RAM installed and done. Never have to look at it, and hopefully never touch it again. Take care.